Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta, and today we'll understand how to carry out code document analysis on our qualitative data. Code document analysis can be done after completing the coding of the qualitative data. Kindly refer my previous video on how to code the qualitative data and create group. Create groups. So now our project consists of document, document group, code, and code groups. We can run the document analysis between document and code document and code group document group and code document group and code group the same thing can be presented uh, by Senki diagrams so Senki diagrams are used for presenting the data flows and data connections from document from document and document group to code and code groups now let's go in atlas.ti to run the code document analysis I have already downloaded one project, Children and Happiness Sample Project. Double click on it. So our project consists of documents, codes, document groups, code groups. Click on Analyze, Code Document. We are having four panes, the upper two and the lower, lower two. The upper two consist of code and code groups. The lower one is for document and document groups. When you select any item from the upper pane, this two, it will be displayed in rows in the code document, uh, in the code document table. When we select any item from the lower pane, it will be displayed as columns in the code document table. Let's try to understand this. I will activate from document group, gender female, gender male. Can you see it? It is displayed as columns. Now, when I select any uh, code from the upper pane, it will be displayed as rows. One, two. Can you see? Now, the objective of code document analysis is to compare the occurrence of the code uh, in document groups vis-a-vis -vis to the code. So, we want to so we want to find out that this experience of parenthood, this code appears how many times in female? How many times in male reasons for having a children it appears how many times in the gender female and gender male now who are your mouse on the gender female it gives me the information that the total number of females in our qualitative data are 13 which is indicated by members the number of quotations coming from this gender female is 26 who are your mouse here so it gives me the information that the total number of male uh, male gender, sorry, the total number of male in our qualitative data are 11 and the quotations are 22. Who are your mouse on the board? So it gives me the quotations 139. So we are having 139 quotations for experience of parenthood. Who are your mouse here? Reasons are for having children, 119 quotations are there. Now let's try to understand what this thing is. So 10 quotations are such in which gender is female and the Quotation is for experience of parenthood. Click on it. On right hand side, all the quotations in which gender is female and experience of parenthood is there will appear. Similarly, you can click here. You can expand this. So it also gives me the quotations as well as the sentiment analysis. Now, if you feel that the space is less, click on this so list. The window panes will disappear. So depending upon your require on the re uh, requirement of the researcher, the show list can be activated or deactivated. Now we will go in settings and click on column relative frequencies. What does it give? Let's try to understand. 10 divided by 30 is 33.33 percentage. 20 divided by 30 is 66.67 percentage. 10 uh, 10 divided by 26 is 38.46 percentage. 16 divided by 26 is 61.54 percentage. So this is the column relative frequency. Again, go here and activate row relative frequency. 10 divided by 20 is 50 percentage. 10 divided by 20 is 50 percentage. 20 divided by 30 is 36 is 55.56 percentage. 16 divided by 36 is 44.44 44 percentage. Uh, tick mark the 
table relative frequency. So 10 divided by 56 is 17.86. 10 divided by 56 is 17.86. 20 divided by 56 is 35.71. 16 divided by 56 is 28.57. So depending upon the requirement, you can activate the column relative frequency, row relative frequency, or table relative frequency. We can swap rows and columns. So you can see that now the gender is in rows and the codes are in columns. Again, I'll go in settings, rotate. The same, uh, the same thing can be displayed in the format of Sankey diagram. I already explained this concept. See, in case of code document analysis, we are running the analysis between document and code, document and code group, document group, code, document group, code group. So the thickness, uh, the thickness of this uh, bar represents the flow of the data. Now click on any uh, bar. On right hand side, the quotations will appear. So these are all the quotations in which gender is fe uh, gender is male and reasons for having a children. Now again, go in settings, display the icons if you want. Fit to window, refresh the layout. Again, you can go in settings, click on rotate. Now the link color mode option is also available. Use source color node. So uh, these bars will be displaying the color according to the experience of parenthood and reasons of having children. Or uh, you can also activate the target color. Or you can activate use gradient color. So depending upon your requirement, you can activate these options. The same thing I can represent in the form of bar charts also. Click on any bar and on right hand side, it will display all the quotations which are related to uh, this document group and code. Now the table, this table, we can save it in the XLS format. The Sankey diagram it can be saved in the form in the form of image. Bar chart can be saved in the form of image. Click on import and export. We can import the code book from here in XLS format and QDC format. Moreover, the code book can also be exported in XLS format and QDC format. We can also export the document groups. Now there is one more concept which we have to understand. We want to find out the occurrence of two codes together and that is known as co-occurrence analysis. This we will see in the next video. So this was all about uh, how to uh, run the code document analysis in atlas.ti. For more videos on atlas.ti kindly subscribe to my channel. You can also refer my playlist in which I uploaded videos on data science, machine learning and artificial intelligence. You can also join me on different social medias, link given in the description box.